Hi and welcome back to another Suncatcher Diaries or whatever I'm calling it now. My name's Becky and I make Suncatchers and Suncatcher DIY kits and tutorials. I have just got back from Lanzarote. I've had a lovely time with my son and my husband. It was so nice to be away from the cold for a while. I'm just really excited to start making a new collection and just get back to work basically. I got back to quite a few orders so I've got all them out now. Um, but I've just been kind of getting my orders out every morning recently. Um, I normally just do it on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but recently I've been doing it every day. So I'm going to do that this morning and then I've got to make a macrame ball hanging. Um, it's been so busy again, like, on my website, even though I've been away for a week or so, I'm still getting the orders through, which is just amazing. Like, I love January, it's always busy for me and I just... I'm just so grateful that my shop is still so busy even after Christmas. This week I'm going to be making a new, starting a new collection. I'm making a lamp today um, which is a little bit different than the ones that I made before. I'm making one um, from like a new, I, th I think I showed it you a few weeks ago. It's a white lamp shade and I'm going to spray paint it gold and see if that works because somebody did suggest to me why don't you try and spray paint it which I did think of but wasn't sure if that would work so I'm going to spray paint that today. I'm going to show you that and then I'm just show you the process of me making that and maybe a few more for this new collection and hopefully I could be able to show you a few of the processes that I use to make them. Absolutely good today because the sun is just so bright. There's probably like two clouds in the sky right now and I have no new sun catches to film and I hate it when this happens. This is why I always want to have new sun catches to film for days like today when it's so nice and I, it's the opportunity to make loads of nice reels and TikToks but today is really nice and I have zero new sun catchers so I'm going to get straight to making um, this new one. I want to I want to spray paint that and then I've got a macrame wall hanging to make so I'm going to show you guys that. Here is the lamp that I'm going to spray gold so it's white at the moment and with the gold wire I have and beads and I mean, if I had white wire, it would probably look really nice, but everything I have is gold. So I'm going to spray paint it gold. I really do think this one is going to look extra pretty, if it works, that is. So here is the spray that I've got. It looks like quite a nice colour, if that is the colour. But you never know, do you, until you use these things. got this from Amazon. It'll be in my... Shot. I'll put it in my Amazon storefront. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do it now. I'll show you. That actually went really well. The colour looks really good on it, um, but it's so windy out there. So what I'm gonna do now is. I'm going to let that dry for a bit and then I'm going to put a second coat on it because I was, I need it to be perfect and I can't have any like bits of like drips or anything on it. I want it to be perfect so I'm going to do a second coat in a minute and possibly even like a third in the places like underneath and things. So yeah, I'll do some orders, some DIY kits, get some DIY orders out um, and probably have my dinner and then I'll get back to doing the next layer. I think it's going to turn out really well so I'm excited. Just had delivered an exciting delivery. <laughs> because I've been so cold recently, well obviously it's cold outside, um, I've been thinking about ordering some new fleeces, but I wanted some nice fleeces because fleeces tend to be quite plain and boring, but um, I found some nice ones on ASOS, so I thought I'd just show you guys my new fleeces. This is what I've ordered. Like, how nice is that? It was very expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Not something that I would normally spend money on, but when you're, every day I'm just so cold in this house and I just wanted something really, really warm. It's not soft on the inside though. But the outside is like, if you can see, the pattern is so cute. It looks such good quality. 
Oh, wow, this is warm. Such deep pockets, like right, right to the zip. Love the pattern, like it's like a paisley pattern. And it's just like exactly what I needed. Oh, I can already feel how nice it is. Look at the colours in this one as well. So nice. I love the colours on this one. It's nowhere, this is nowhere near as warm as that one. I really want to keep, I really want to keep them both. Is that bad? Like, I really, really shouldn't keep them both, but I really like this one as well. So that's the second coat of paint done and I think I am going to do a third just to make sure. I'm going to bring it inside first and I'll check all the spots to make sure like I'm inside because I think outside sometimes you can't see where, it, where the gold has hit and where it's not. So just to check any white bits I'm going to bring it in, check it and then I'll spray it again. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just doing a few orders from, just hide people's addresses, <laughs> a few orders from yesterday that I had and I'm just popping in some free sun catchers. So on the website if you buy any two DIY kits you can get a free sun catcher or you can get a free DIY kit. You do have to add it to the basket though. Otherwise, I won't put it in because I, I won't think you want it. Anyway, so now I'm going to pack these orders and then I'm going to do the last spray. Lane was nestled beside a too casual Mora on the sitting room couch when we arrived at the townhouse. Nesta strode past me, right to Elaine, and took up a seat on her other side before turning her attention to where we remained in the foyer, waiting, somehow sensing the meeting that was about to unfold. <laughs> colour is really really nice so and it has gone on really really well pretty much everywhere but there's a few places like this can you see where the bubble wrap's kind of gone next to it so I'm gonna um, sand that down and then redo that bit but the cover is really really good you know and I've only done two coats and I can't see any white oh little bit of white there so I'm just gonna probably smooth this down and do that again but that's gonna look perfect I'm really happy if that all that's turned out so I can just show you me adding um, the crystals on this next just finished spray painting the base of the lamp and I think it's gone all right there's no white bits left there were a few bits that were quite hard not hard, like um, had like flakiness on them. Sometimes when you use spray paint, um, hard surfaces they they can go a bit funny. I just sanded them down and then sprayed again. So I think the colour's quite nice, and I just started so you can see putting some crystals and beads onto it. I mean, if this works out, it is gonna look pretty amazing. Um, I do just wish that the base was just gold and I didn't have to spray it. I mean, it's staying all right. There's nothing. I'm just worried that something's going to go wrong. Just need to be careful with it um, and see as I go on because what I don't want to do is like get all the beads on it and then realise that there's something's like scraping off or something. I don't want that to happen. So we shall see. So I'm going to carry on just beading. So what I've done here is where you've got this bit here where you've got two bits of um, metal bars coming together you can't really wrap around it so I'm, I'm doing like 
a bit of a design there. I'm going to do that on all of them where I've done a small bead, two big beads and another small bead. So I'm going to do that on every side and then I'm just, go, I'm just carrying on doing the normal design that I do on this little arch here. So I'm going to finish that and then I will show you how that looks. <laughs> got to do every single arch on top and every single arch on the bottom so that's going to take me quite a while and I'll show you how it turns out <laughs> days later and things have gotten pretty busy <laughs> and I've just been to the doctors by the way as well which was just literally no help and a waste of my time um, there's nothing they can do apart from um, I've got to take iron tablets and if my stomach can't tolerate the iron tablets I'm gonna have to go for an infusion in hospital which I'm just like great anyway I am just about to fill these tumble stones I'll show you I thought I'd just uh, fill these tumble stones while, while I just talk to you and just get you up to speed because I've run out of like labradite um, and I just need to know which tumble stones I need to order because if I'm ordering labradite I need to order more so that it makes it worth the shipping um, and I have I'll show you I finished the base of this beauty. I, I think it's just looking so nice. I read like at the moment I'm reading a lot of um like fantasy romance novels and this just looks like something that would be in one of the palaces that I'm reading about. So I've done on my Instagram story I put um a poll up to say what colour I should put here. And everybody was saying blue aquamarine, so that's what I've done, and the rest is clear quartz. So I'm loving that so far. It's hard to see, put it against here. It just, the shape of it is just so stunning. So I can't wait to finish that. This weekend, so last I spoke to you was Friday, and this weekend, like, over sa on Saturday, I was in the park, and a huge order came through, and I was just like, oh my god, like, the biggest, massivest order came through uh, for loads of macrame wall hangings so I am very very busy <laughs> I've got to get I've just ordered a, uh, some of the materials to make them macrame wall hangings by the way this is one of the wall hangings um, not for that order but for a previous order but they've that order has ordered this as well this is one of our best sellers for macrame um, so macrame is doing really well at the minute so are my sun catchers but macrame is doing probably just as well so yeah, I'm very, very busy. Um, I've got... So I'm going to pack this now, finish filling these tumble stones, order my tumble stones. I need to find a better prism, um, you know, like the prism that I sell. I need to find a better supplier because I'm not very happy with my supplier. So I need to do that. Um, Sam's been here this morning. She's been packing a lot of orders and we did my cards this morning and they were spot on. I think I put a little little clip before this one to show you guys like my cards that I pulled this morning which were literally spot on. I think I got for the past I got um I can't remember what I got but basically it meant that I had tried really really hard and I'd been very like I'd been really focused on this one thing and I, that I needed to get right which is obviously this business which I did really focus on this and I didn't really do much else for a very long time and I kind of isolated myself a lot to start this business because I put everything that I had into it 
and I did sacrifice a lot of other things in my life to start this business. Like, I'm not telling you, I didn't go half. The, the, the middle card was like success and it was all about like the fact that the, like I'm all everything that I've been wanting has come true again and then my future was all like all really good as well like about just how things are gonna just keep going really well for me I'm just like this is really good every time I pull my cards they're pretty similar so when I've done that when I've packed this and I've done all them things I'm gonna do the chains on the bottom of that sun catcher and show you guys there's gonna be some sun this week as well so I'm gonna be able to film that sun catcher in the light um, which will just be so nice and I probably get this up before I start the huge amount of macrame wall hangings that I have to do for this huge order that I've had. Day and I'm just about to set up um, for the reels and TikToks that I'm going to do with the new piece. It's not actually finished, I don't think, this lamp. I'm going to put some crystals in it, but I'm going to show it at this stage and then I'm going to show it at the stage when I put the crystals in it because I'm still waiting for the crystals to arrive from my wholesalers. Uh, and I'm also, this morning, I did have an amethyst lamp that I took off the website because I wasn't quite happy with it. I'll show you it. So it's this one. You might remember it from the website, but I took it off shortly afterwards. It's got like a light in it, but I'm not, I'm not happy with it to be honest with you. I'm going to take the light off it and just have it as a normal sun catcher because I'm just not happy with the light. Like I feel like when you're changing the battery, it's going to be really hard work and I just think it takes, I don't know, it's just, I just, I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put that back on the website, but without the light on it. So what I'm going to do today is hopefully, well, the sky is quite grey to be honest, but there's meant to be intervals of light and sun today, but it's not happening so far. But I'm going to set it up um, and then get some reels of these two and put these on the, well, put this one on the website, because that one I'm going to do um, when I've got the crystals. Yeah, I, and I'm starting that huge macrame order today. So that's probably going to be in the next vlog, I'll show you like how many pieces that, I think he's ordered, no he's ordered five, I think, I don't even know if it's a he, <laughs> they've ordered five, um, and then I've got like a couple more that I need to do, like people are living macrame all of a sudden, um, and this morning I just woke up feeling like pretty deflated from my doctor's appointment yesterday, especially learning that, um, they're basically saying there's nothing they can do for me anymore. They've done all the tests that they can do to find any problems and there's nothing that they've found. So basically they're just saying that I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to keep saving and probably going down the private route. Um, I know I'm in like a few groups on Facebook. Um, basically what I think I might have, like I have really bad IBS sy symptoms and there's this thing called SIBO that people have which is like small intestinal small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and that's what I think I've got um, so I've been seeing a functional therapist which has helped me a lot but I'm still like just get if anything happens like in my life it just gets really bad and I'm just knackered all the time like and then I end up being anemic and things like that anyway enough about that I'll put some clips of the the sun catcher at the end of this and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. 